Hey guys and welcome back to Fixed Drive Ride Fly. Um, we are still waiting for parts for the Regal project, so the chassis, all the door parts, uh, the, the engine. Um, news on the engine is I found a, a couple of motorbike breakers uh, who have got plenty of uh, engines in stock, so it's just a matter of choosing the one I want. I really am quite tempted to, to keep it British. I've seen a Triumph ST 1050 engine, it gives us around 123 brake horse and 75 foot pound of torque uh, and what I quite like about that is because it's British I could put the Triumph badge on the back of the car and I, I just think that would be pretty cool I could get a bigger Japanese engine to get a bit more power so I've just got to play off that do I, do I want to go with full power or do I want to have a little bit of heart in it as well um, so that's something to uh, think of uh, let me know what you think in the comments and I'd be interested to uh, hear what you guys uh, think uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to clean this garage up. Uh, it's absolutely full at the moment. I got parts of the Porsche, the 928 project. Check out the other videos on that if you haven't seen them yet. So I've got all the interior or parts of the interior there which I need to work on. Uh, so I'm going to get all this tidy. I'm going to dig out my brew and stuff and get a brew on while I'm at it. Uh, I'm not going to get you guys watching that. It'll be click of the fingers. This will be nice and uh, clean. But while I'm on to doing that, if you guys could give me a, a like and a subscribe and share the videos and whatnot, that'd be superb. And I'll be back in a bit. Right, so the plan today with this is just to get it stripped down enough so we can get it into the shed. Now I want to take the gearbox off to make it just easier to move and carry. Uh, we're going to get rid of the clutch in here. I'll be wearing breathing masks to do that because, as I mentioned before, there's a good chance that that's asbestos. Uh, we're going to strip down these hubs, uh, again getting the brakes on, getting rid of them, again uh, they are quite likely to contain the asbestos. Um, and then what I'm going to do, not in this episode, but we will start to get this engine prepped to see if we can uh, get it to turn over. Now it does appear to be seized, this is rotten through but it looks quite nice in there. But I'll save all that for the engine start episode, other than I'm just going to chuck 12 volts on this to see if the starter spins up. So let's put you down somewhere you can see. Um, she spin oh that's good this is seized on though that didn't move at all but that's a step in the right direction so hey something to look forward to in a future episode we will try to start this
I don't think I'm doing. Got the clutch off and I'll give this a wipe down, make sure there's no dust on it. Bag that stuff up, get rid of it. We'll move this to one side because we're not going to do any more playing on this for this episode. We will dedicate an episode to try getting it started. Um, I'm going to turn our attentions to that. So I'll be wetting this down with uh, an oily rag in a bit just to get all the dust off. They look in pretty good condition. These back end plates are solid. Plates look solid. Uh, let's get the other side stripped down. Right, then, guys, I'm going to get all this cleaned up. I'm going to get a rag in it, get it all cleaned. Uh, get those bagged up, get the dust of those brakes in the bag and give them a good wipe as well. Uh, and then this is good to go in the garage. Ready to be painted up. We'll get the brush cup on it. Get all that nice and clean. I'm well impressed with these back end plates. They're all solid. Look at this. That makes me a happy man. Right, clean up time. Let's see what the oil in here looks like. If indeed there is any.
Yeah, it looks good. It's not shiny and sparkly, so. Well, I just love that smell. Right, guys, I'm going to get uh, this in the garage so it doesn't get any rain on it. Uh, don't forget, if you're enjoying these episodes, please do like and subscribe and share the videos as well. Cheers. engine on the bench so we will do a tear down of this and uh, get it sorted as you can see I've done a bit of tidying see my garage again uh, I also got the brew done to all you, you guys who like uh, brewing there we are in there we've got 50 pints of uh, a caramel wheat beer lovely stay safe good sticker for this car I think it's a lovely day today you guys uh, so as you can see, I didn't really need to take those big bolts off when I was getting the drums off yesterday. Uh, it was only the one screw really I needed to take out. I kind of knew that, but wasn't 100% sure, so I didn't want to go battering at it uh, with those on. Now, I don't know if I should change the seals there. They seem perfectly fine. It doesn't look like they've been leaking. Uh, however, this one here, as you can see, it's been leaking down my bench. So I've got to change the seal there, which is probably why this is so covered in oil. So I'm going to get that cleaned up. Again, this end looks really good. I'm going to scrape all this old rust off, give them a brush down and a paint. We'll get this replaced. There's a steering box. This broke when we took the steering off. Now these are about 150 quid to replace, but we've also got uh, a hole there in this tube. So at the very least I need to replace that tube. So I don't know whether I should rebuild this and weld or braze that in. Or whether I should just bend out and get a new steering box. And there is our bell housing and our gearbox. This all feels lovely and free as well. Lovely clean oil in there that looks in good condition. Right, I've hoovered everything, even these, I've brushed everything down and hoovered in the car, so I'm going to give these a good clean, I'm going to give the car a good clean. Uh, my wife is then going to bleach the headlining for me. Uh, and we're going to get these in so it starts looking nicer.
I know that seems a bit extreme, but there's no electrics in there. And you remember the state it was in. So remind yourself how bad it was. You can go back to the first video, I'll put a link below. So that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, good news is that uh, hopefully by the time we have the, the next episode, I'll have the chassis here. I'm talking to people about uh, delivery, so that's really good. I'll have all the other parts as well. So I should have everything I need to put it all back together, um, including uh, possibly a motorbike engine as well. Uh, I shall uh, give you a sneak peek uh, via Instagram or something when, uh, when the choice is made. Uh, so... Thank you very much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, share these videos with your friends if you can. And we'll uh, catch you next time. Cheers. Stay safe.